Hello, everybody. Welcome into another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. Um, this is an open art collaboration that a whole community of people host every weekend here on social media. Um, it started, uh, I started it back uh, right as COVID was getting started or right before then, I'm trying to remember, um, mainly to give myself permission to spend a little time each weekend doing something creative. I'm a busy single parent um, and I would always put all my work chores you know, house chores and work ahead of doing anything for myself. And I thought, why am I doing that? We need to feed our souls. So I started an open art collaboration and I invited everybody to take some time out of their week to do something that gives them bliss, that feeds their soul. And uh, that as as mothers, as busy women, we deserve it, men too. We all need a chance to feed our souls once a week. So um, that is how I started it, and it, uh, the community lo has loved joining in, and uh, now I call all of you my co-hosts that play along, um, and I am just one of you uh, playing along on Saturdays, or whenever you have a day off, it doesn't need to be Saturday. I know I call it Saturday Morning Makes. That's just because a lot of us do share on Saturday mornings, and we hop around and look at everybody's things. I've seen a ton of projects today already on social media. Um, I can go through and I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that towards the end of the video. Uh, some of the things that I enjoyed seeing. Um, uh, to start with, I'm going to do mail call. I did get a beautiful tag in the mail from my friend Sue Crozier. And Sue is one of our wonderful Saturday morning makers. Um, and uh, Sue uh, sent me this for Easter. And it says... Uh, for you, it has this cute little tag at the top, has a little daisy charm. If I'm remembering correctly, that might be from my creative time. Um, uh, these, the ovals and this tag die set are. And then she used embossing and Two Crafters One Design is doing embossing this weekend. So it fits perfectly with Two Crafters One Design's theme. She used the little egg tag dies from my creative time and she added some sweet flowers, a little bunny, and then it says happy Easter. And she has some beautiful lace tucked down at the bottom underneath the banner. So just a beautiful tag. I love all the sweet tea details. She even has a little lemon charm with the daisy. So, so cute. And uh, she says, Happy Easter to you and Tim. Thanks for being there. Hugs, Sue. So, Sue, you know my heart is with you and Tom and uh, all the family. Um, anyway, thank you, Sue, for sending that. I wish you all a very happy Easter weekend. Um, I'm sure most of us are busy, uh, you know, cooking and getting ready for a nice Easter weekend with our families. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and really quick go through the, the materials that I used, and then I'll dive in. I have a ton of projects to share with you guys today. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. So uh, I used this little stamp inside one of my cards. It says, the day the Lord created hope was probably the same day he created spring. And I just love this. This is from Impression Obsession. And um, I, I just think that's a beautiful saying and one that many of us need here. Um, this is from... Uh, paper sweeties. I used to design for them. And uh, this is their sets of stamps. This one's called Mary. And I think this one's called Blessed. Um, but these are just some little word stamps. And I use the word joy and the word hope on my projects that I'm going to show you. This is the Angel Kisses stamp set from My Creative Time. It has all these sweet uh, sentiments in it. And I use the You're a Blessing to Me on a card I'm going to share. Um, this is a wonderful Mother's Day stamp set called Thank You, Mom, from My Creative Time. And I use this one that says, Everything I am, you helped me to be. But this is full of wonderful Mother's Day sentiments for My Creative Time. And I, I'm not sure if that one is, it might be retired. It might be in the shop. I'm not sure. I forgot to check. Um, and then this is uh, the Jingle All the Way. Uh, stamp and die set MCT D three nine three, and I made a ton of spatulas today. Um, and then there's coordinating stamps. I didn't use the stamps. I'll show you what I used instead. Um, I also die cut some of the baking up love stamp and dies. I cut a spoon and a rolling pin from that set. Uh, I used the Prim Hearts uh, Alpha stamps and dies. And I used the M and the O letters to create the word mom, okay? So that was also used. I used the revised chunky jar dies from my creative time. And this is the jar that I used right here. And let's see. I used uh, this particular label. This is the jar label dies and stamps, 
okay, from M M uh, My Creative Time. And uh, so I use that label right there to add a sentiment to. Uh, for a tag that I'm going to show you, I use the Pretty Scallop Tall Tag Dies and the Pretty Scallop Stitched Tag Dies, okay? And these pattern up together, okay? They layer together. Um, I use the strawberry from inside the 3 by 3 square card die set. And this creates a wonderful rounded edged um, card, 3 by 3 card. And uh, I lost the strawberry die somewhere on my desk. I'm hoping it turns up, you guys. I used it and then it flipped out of my hand and now I can't find it. So I'm hoping it'll turn up. Um, this was just a set of mini slimline uh, layered uh, scalloped uh, stitched dies. I think these might be from... Um, Gina Marie designs. I'm not sure, but I use those. From my, my creative time, I also use the brand new 3.75 by 4.75 card dies. And when this came out uh, a couple weeks ago, you guys now, or last week, how long has it been? Um, I This is a great die set. It's like one of those staples that's just perfect to have, especially if you are brand new to, to card making and uh, purchasing dies. This is a great set. So you can cut out the cards using the card die that it comes with, and then it has all these layering pieces. And I believe I used today this scallop piece and this scallop piece. And that might be it. I'm not sure. Um, I pulled out and used some of the papers from both of the spring 2024 paper pads that just came out, and I used some of those. Um, in particular, I used this one here, which is these beautiful script papers in kind of a darker pink. And then I also printed out the entire collection. Let's see, this was the stuff I showed you in the release yesterday. So this is from Peachy Keen Stamps. We did a release yesterday of a wonderful um, digital kit. The stamps and dies will be following later on. We wanted some feedback. Kathy uh, Jakobovich um, and Dave Jakobovich are the owners of Peachy Keen Stamps, and I am a creative designer for them. And they uh, wanted some feedback. So we released uh, the, the kit yesterday that's digital. And I did print out the digital kit so I could show you it today because I wanted to make another card for a friend of mine. And uh, this is the image that I used on the card that I'm going to show you. And in the digital kit, she has the cups separately, but she also has the cups with this cute lifesaver background, which goes with the lifesaver sentiments that she has in the kit. So I did make... Um, I printed it out four to a page. So the, the image comes just like this, okay? You could print it eight and a half by 11 if you wanted. You can print it any size you want. I chose to print four per page so that I could have card fronts, okay? Um, but I had some questions last night um, on my channel from people asking how to make the cups bigger and smaller. So I wanted to give you an example of how I do that, okay? So I'm going to show you what they, the way uh, Kathy made them print and then what I did with it, okay? So this is one of the prints that you get um, in the kit, okay? And this is the one that has the little um, Lifesaver, uh, the little Marshmallow Boy floating on the green Lifesaver in the mug, um, this uh, little Girl or Boy Marshmallow floating uh, with the red Lifesaver, and then this is the one that I made all my Christmas tags with yesterday, this sweet image with the little sprinkle fingernails and little sprinkle toenails. And I was calling her Miss Rainbow Marshmallow because I, that's what she reminds me of. But anyway, this is how the sheet comes. So it's three images. You print If you just print the kit as it's delivered, you would get this page, and then you could use your dies to cut out these cups or just to hand cut around them and use them on projects. But I had questions from someone saying, how do I reduce these? So one of the ways you can reduce the size is to just print the split your page and print two copies of the page on one eight and a half by 11 sheet. Now, you're going to ask me how to do that. Every printer is different. You need to look at what your printer driver offers. And if you're not sure, you can contact your printer's company or go to their website and use their help system and say, how do I do this? And they will help you do it. Um, but there's usually a button you can click that allows you to pick the sizes of what you're printing. So look at how your printer works. Go to your printer um, settings. When you hit print, it'll take you into a screen and figure out what you need to do to print two to a page to get smaller mugs. Or 
print four to a page and get even smaller ones to make little tags. So that's one way to do it. And I, I listed a few different ways for the person that was asking me. Another thing you can do is use a tool called the snipping tool, which will allow you to snip out a single image and then you could transfer that image into Word for Windows or whatever photo hosting program you have. And you could then print just the one image in whatever size you want. So there's lots of different ways you can manipulate um, the pages as they're delivered to get what you need. You could also use the silhouette silhouette design space. I think Cricut has a design space that you can use where you could load the uh, digital product in there and then, you know, play with it a little bit to get the size image that you're looking for. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, I was just going to go through and kind of show you all the images in the kit. Uh, so hold on just a second. I'm going to try and put this in a better order again. And we'll go like this because there is the kit has a lot in it. Uh, one of the things the kit has, like I said, is it has all the cup images with this adorable Lifesaver paper background. So that way you could just literally die cut this and then finish doing a card with it. You could make a tag with it, whatever you wanted to do. I still haven't had a chance to make anything with this image. And I think this was a lot of people's favorite image. And uh, I've seen... Um, Kathy has done different permutations of this. I love the version she had at one point where there was a red mug at Christmas time when she first started drawing this. Um, and it was really fun too. And now you've got a pink one with birthday sprinkles. This would be so much fun for a birthday party image, I think, on invitations. So um, you're going to get these images where she has the mugs loaded to um, the paper uh, for you with this beautiful lifesaver paper in the background. And then she made this that says, you're a real lifesaver. It has a roll of lifesaver that says maybe the whole roll. And so that would be a perfect, um, this could be a card by itself too. Um, but it would also go, go cute with some of these uh, mug images. You could put this on the inside and uh, use one of the lifesaver mug issue, you know, pictures on the outside. So those are those. And then um, you're going to get this page that has all of the marshmallows. And again, someone was asking me, how do I separate the marshmallows out? Use the snipping tool. You can look that up and uh, just um, download it to your computer or it should be on your computer already. You could also use free software like GIMP. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. Um, the other thing you can do is enlarge it and, and just try and print it and then cut out what you want. But these are uh, listed on here in such a way that you can just hand cut around them if you wanted to use them on individual projects, okay? But again, the snipping tool would also allow you to isolate. So there were lots of questions about that. And again, it's, it's your knowledge and what you pursue um, what software or products you pursue to use. And uh, certainly there's probably someone out there that could give way better feedback on that than me, okay? It does work. You can load the images into the Cricut Design Space. Someone was asking that also, but only for personal use because this is Kathy's art and you do need to follow the rules as far as using digital art goes. Um, the art is owned by Kathy and you're just buying a copy of it. Okay, so this is this is all of the um, the little coffee and rainbow splatters, the two bigger marshmallows down here, and then all of the different facial features for the marshmallows. And I'm really hoping she does a stamp set with all those and all the faces because I just love how those turned out. Um, and then we have, uh, like I said, you have the three mugs and she has two sheets of those for the different images. And she did make one of these without the sentiment. So if you want to put your lifesaver on the front of the mug here, you can, or you can use the just keep swimming one. So she does these. I showed you already how you can do duplex and uh, quadruplex printing. Here is this image and I printed it. Um, this comes like this. It's four card fronts, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, um, again, these are made uh, to use where you can just die cut it and use it on a card, okay? Um, and then she has the, uh, the big tall mug along with the spoon one on a single page. And again, you could print these, you could print two to a page or four to a page to get smaller images and uh, or use the snipping tool and load it into your um, Word for Windows or into a photo hosting program. 
And then this page is still in there with the spread the joy and the hope you your day is filled with sunshine and rainbows. She also added this page in there. And this one has these cute marshmallows um, with sprinkles all around them and a big lifesaver. And these can be, you know, you could man manipulate these to different sizes also. Then she gave us a whole sheet of lifesavers and um, three sets of sentiments. So three different pages of sentiments, okay? And I'm not going to read them all, but for those of you that bought the kit uh, or that want to read them all, you can certainly pause the video um, and try and look at each of the sentiments that she offers. But I did go through and read them on yesterday's video, although there's more in the kit than what I showed you yesterday. So I just wanted to come on and talk about that for just a minute because there were so many questions. All right, so um, let's see. Let's dive into my projects. Uh, I I have a My Creative Designs, um, My Creative Time, oops, Design Team Project. Oh my gosh, I can't talk you guys. It's been a long day. Um, and so I was playing around with Mother's Day card ideas. And uh, it is Two Crafters, One Design. Um, their theme this week is to use embossing, which is one of my favorite things. And uh, I did an embossing folder, a floral one, uh, and I cut out the top of my um, uh, spatulas and I did all different designs. Um, I, I only, I did a floral embossing folder. I made several of those, whoops. I made several where I stamped the word mom on. I did some in my favorite red and white gingham and then some using an Arala Miha shop paper. This beautiful rose paper is from Arala Miha shop. And I am gonna be doing a big kickoff for Arala Miha shop on April 1st. Uh, I am doing some design work for her during the month of April, and I will be sharing a coupon code um, on April 1st. Um, and along with all of the stuff that she sent me, I'll be debuting a bunch of new products in her store. If you want to see them ahead of time, go to her store today, and uh, I will have a code for you to use on April 1st. Um, but I believe she has everyday coupon codes in her store if you look at her about information in her Etsy shop at Arella Miha shop. So um, anyway, all of those are using the My Creative Time Jingle All the Way spatula. And I also cut um, some spoons and some, uh, and some um, rolling pins. And you'll see in the card here that I'm going to show you. So those are all the spatulas. They're so cute. And uh you can also make Christmas ornaments with these. As you know, I have done that in the past also, um, but these are just adorable. I'll leave those set out so you can kind of see them. And then this is the card that I made. And this this paper right here is an old Irala Miha shop printable. I'm not sure if it's still in her shop. This is that beautiful script paper from My Creative Time from the new spring paper pads. And um, and then I made a, four, a total of four spatulas, one with the word mom using that um, the the uh, stamp and die set for my creative time. It's the very first Prim Heart set, and it came with an alphabet. And so that's how I made the mom. You can see the rolling pin as well as the um, the spoon back here. That's a wooden spoon from uh, the other set I showed you. So you have all of these different kitchen implements, if you will. And then I used an embossing folder on the mason jar. This is her new. Um, Emma's newest mason jar set and I, I use an embossing folder to emboss the, the jar and then I use pattern paper and I just cut the bottom part of the jar off and use the pattern paper there and I forget if it was Emily or um, Kendra but one of the designers for my creative time they did that and I thought it was such a great idea um, so uh, I love how that looks and it picks up on one of the spatulas up there in the jar. And then this is one of the little labels for the mason jars. I love the little dots around this. It's so cute. And uh, I use the sentiment that says, you're a blessing to me. And that is from that little angel kisses um, stamp set. And then I did use a piece of uh, vintage lace, uh, although it's mostly covered up, but you can kind of see it peeking out. And, uh, and then inside it says, everything I am, you helped me to be. And that is so true about our moms. Um, I have an incredible mother. And uh, so this this is just a great card. I also have an incredible mother in love. Um, I'm very blessed. I'm twofold blessed. So um, I have to make more cards, which is why I cut out extra spatulas. Um, and I just added a little piece of the checked paper in here. 
I used that beautiful scalloped um, die cut with the beautiful little um, stitching uh, from the 3.75 by 4.75 card die set. And that's the newest die set from the latest release at My Creative Time. I love this little, how it looks so cute inside the card. And then I just added some more of that polka dot paper to the back. So this is one of my Mother's Day cards, and I thought this would be a, a perfect um, design team project to share for, with you guys for My Creative Time. So there we go. There's that. And then I have more things to share. Let me... I'm going to go like this and we'll kind of move these up. Um, I worked with some other stuff. I used uh, some beautiful lace I had ordered on Amazon last spring. If you guys remember, it's two different laces. And uh, I for it was a really good deal and I ordered this, so I'm still using it. And I pulled that out to use. I used these little spare parts from Hobby Lobby and the Paper Studio. These go on sale for 40% off periodically, and that's when I buy them. Um, and then uh, this is a new die set, um, and I, I saw my friend Kelly, she was playing with this today too, Kelly in Idaho on Instagram. So if you go check her out, she also has a YouTube channel, but I'm not sure if she posted to YouTube day sh today. She may have only posted on Instagram. So go check out Kelly, I-N-I-D, and uh, you will see what she did with it. But this is my friend, Sam Poole, who lives over in the UK. Hello, Sam. Sam has an Etsy store also you can check out, but her... Um, a lot of her designs are carried and uh, done for creative expressions. So she designs for creative expressions. This is um, the little rag doll that she designed. Uh, does it, this have a name? Let's see. It's called a Rustic Homestead Stitch Doll. And it has a total of nine dies. There's the dies for you. Um, and I ended up using the hair dye twice on a couple of mine to make the hair come down further. And I'll show you how I did that. But I love this die set. It's a little rag doll. The face is imprinted into the doll's um, head area. It has two different bows. It has buttons. It has hearts. This is the hair piece. And then a dress that you can layer. So it's just adorable. I'm sure most of you have seen it. I got mine on sale for, I think, $13.99 at Craft Stash. Uh, they had it on sale the day that I was looking for it, and it was out of stock elsewhere. Um, and so I got a good deal over there and bought it. And that was a treat to myself. Yay! Um, the other things I used to create the projects I'm going to show you, I used this Pebbles front porch paper pad. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. I wish I would have bought more than one uh, copy of this paper pad when it was out. Um, but this is, how old is this? Uh, 2013. So this is quite a few years old, but if you have it in your stash, this is the one that I used to create um, what I'm going to show you, the little uh, rag dolls or homes. What did she call them? Stitch dolls, rustic stitch dolls. Okay. Um, the other thing that I used is this Violet Studio paper pad. Um, this is 12 sheets, six by six. This is carried at Joanne's uh, fabrics and crafts or Joann's. And uh, I picked up a couple of these uh, when I was in and I used this paper and this paper to create a dress. And then the last paper pad that I used to make these little dolls that I'm going to show you is this floral farmhouse uh, from the paper studio, that, which is Hobby Lobby. And this was one of my purchases with a birthday gift card that my friend Sue Crozier gave me. Sue, thank you so much, honey. And uh, if you haven't seen this, it's beautiful. I think maybe Anna White by the, bought this pad too and showed it on her channel. I think I was watching a video of hers the other day, and I think this was one that she shared. I'm not sure. Um, there's several of these at their, at, um, Hobby Lobby right now, uh, that are similar in style. So I did use that also, and I think that's everything that I use. So let me get back to the projects now. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the hope card. And, uh, this one says hope on the outside using that paper sweeties, um, stamp set. And then I paper pieced the sweet little doll using the papers from that um, porch uh, paper pad from Pebbles. And then this piece in the background right here is from that Hobby Lobby paper pad. And uh, this just, they turn out so cute, you guys. And I don't know if you can see on the hair, but I did, I did the hair right side up and then I turned it upside down and glued a second one on the back to make her hair look more layered and to have her hair come down along the back of her neck. So I just thought that looked better. Um, I did color her face in. I added a little bit of white gel pen detail. Um, and I did pop up the dress and everything so that it's layered up from the card. 
And I used an embossing folder, this beautiful floral embossing folder, which I think I forgot to bring the embossing folders in. So I apologize. Uh, this is an older embossing folder that I've shared many times in the past. And I believe it's from Sizzix. And I think it might be Jen Hadfield. I'm not sure. But if someone really wants to know, let me know and I'll try and tell you. Um, and But you can see how I layered the papers inside. Here's that beautiful sentiment. The day the Lord created hope was probably the same day he created spring. So, and that is from Impression Obsession Stamps, I'm pretty sure. And uh, and then um, I just added a little piece of the paper and then that sweet little scalloped uh, mini slimline card die. So these are wonderful. And this these cards can be made with the cute card die set from My Creative Time, okay? And I had made it with that, but I just forgot to bring the die set back in here to show you. Um, and then I just used the other die set for the scallops. And, uh, and then on the back, I just added my little Greenwood Girl cards. Um, these This is my blog header from back in the day, and I used to just print these out and always put them on the back of my cards. So that's what I did on this one. So I love making cards of hope, especially for people that are going through cancer. My heart is always with anybody that is uh, fighting any chronic illness, not just cancer. Um, so then I did two... Uh, two other projects uh, with the beautiful little um, doll, and I used strawberry-themed papers um, to create these. This is a smile embossing folder that I've had for eons, um, and I embossed a piece of vellum and did half of the card in that and then half in the strawberry paper. This is a scalloped rectangle die sitting behind her. This is from Trinity Stamps. Um, which is a local stamp company here to me here in Washington. And uh, again, Sam Poole's little um, dolls are just so cute. I just think they're so sweet. And um, I did add a strawberry from the My Creative Time 3x3 three three rounded card uh, set. And uh, there's the little strawberry that she's holding in her hand. And uh, you have the sentiment, the smile going all the way down. Inside, I used um, a, a, a stitched rectangle die from um, Penny Black uh, to do my, my little rectangle. And then I added a strip of the paper and then more of the smile embossing folder um, paper on back. And this is a piece of vellum, actually, that I embossed. And uh, again, that's for Two Crafters, One Design. All week is the theme of embossing. So be sure to grab your embossing folders or wet and, you know, do some embossing and share your projects. Um, so here is another thing that I made. This is a beautiful tag. And uh, I also used this yarn. This was a little uh, thing of yarn that I got for $2. I think this was at um, Deseret Industries thrift store. I think that's where I found this, but I loved it because it's it's a yarn that has multiple tones. It might have been at the it might have been also at that little thrift store that I go to, um, the Senior Center thrift store. I'm not sure which one for sure. And then I did use some sick silk ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. I ordered this, and I have a little bit of it left. In it's perfect for spring tags. And then some pink seam binding along with the yarn, and that's how I tied off this beautiful tag. This tag, of course, is from my creative time. It's the um, her uh, pretty scalloped tag die and then the lining set, which has stitching. So I, I did those together. I put an extra layer on the back so the tag is nice and sturdy. This one says happy birthday. And uh, I just think this turned out so cute. And I did cut the pinafore layer twice. The second time I cut it out of vellum and then I trimmed it down a little bit and I made it so that there's a little extra layer here and I put the heart die, I cut the heart die twice and made pockets. So it's like a two layered pinafore um, over her dress. And, uh, and then I did some embossing on the lower half of the tag with some vellum. I layered it over. So I cut the tag out of vellum, cut it in half, and put half of the tag on that's in, vell in vellum. And then this heart paper was from one of the, from that little paper pad I showed you from Joanne's. And, uh, and then there's just a little strip of um, lace to kind of divide it and make it look like she's standing in front of a wall or something. So I love how this one turned out. I think this is my favorite project of the day. Um, I just think these dolls are so precious. And uh, the, the card and the tag could be sent to the same person as a birthday ensemble, I think. So just precious. So that's that. And then... Um, Oh, there's another one of my little spatulas. It's trying to run away. And then I have two more things to show you. Um, 
I did do a light, You're My Lifesaver card, and I embossed this also. I took a die, and instead of cutting it, I embossed the frame of the die into this glitter paper. And um, this glitter paper was the same color as the mug on this image. And uh, I love this Lifesaver image. I think it's so cute. And so I did a You're My Lifesaver because a friend came to my rescue a couple weeks ago. Something ha I was the victim of a crime, and she came to my rescue and really helped me the last couple of weeks, um, along with my family. And uh, I'm just so appreciative. And <laughs> um, I wanted to send a little thank you to her. So this says, you're my lifesaver. And then I'll write her a nice note in here. I did use an extra piece of the lifesaver paper from the printout. Okay. Cause I had to die cut the, I die cut the card front with um, uh, just a rectangle die from uh, scrapping cottage or cottage cuts, if you will. And then the, the extra part that I cut off, I used the scrap to go in here. Um, this is that beautiful um, edged die from Penny Black and on for the rectangle. And I haven't decorated the back of this one yet. Okay, so there's that. And then the last thing I'll show you is um, with the little, uh, I, I showed you some round tags. Do I have them on my desk still? I might. Uh, so uh, during the Peachy Keen release video, which I put out on Friday morning, I showed you these round tags, okay, using this adorable um, sprinkle uh, fingernail uh, marshmallow image. And uh, I had some images left over, so I decided to make some tags using the scallop piece from that 3.75 by 4.75 card die from My Creative Time, the smaller one. And then I layered two rectangles on it, one of the rectangles being the actual cut from the printed paper, Okay, so when I printed it, I printed them nine to a page. And so these were the middle printouts, okay, that I didn't use. I, I cut a circle, a circle, and then the middle part wasn't enough left over to do a circle. So on these ones, I just did rectangles and uh, I just layered them up very similar in uh, style to this one, except um, I used a closed scallop. And, uh, and then on the tags, these just say joy. And this is that Paper Sweeties um, tag die. And uh, I just used some white cardstock and just made a little tag that says joy. So each one of these says joy on it. And, uh, and then I, I didn't put anything on the back this time, just so you could see what I do is I fold over and glue the, the two pieces together and I glue it down. And then when I add my white piece to the back, I just put some pop dots here. So everything will lay flat. Okay. So that's how that's going to be once I cut those. And uh, I just used some fluffy um, yarn that I actually got in a Happy Mail package um, to add to the little loop that I made. So I made a loop, uh, glued the loop on, and then through the loop, I added my tie, and then I tied on the joy. So I just did three of those, um, and I just think these turn out so, so cute. And it was allowed me to use the last little piece of ribbon I had. I was able to get three bows and three little loops, and then I just extended the um the tie with the with the uh fuzzy yarn so those turned out so cute and you know me i love the word joy so um i showed you these other ones and i i'll have two sets of christmas tags now all ready to go for 2024's christmas season and uh, i do like to do christmas stuff all year long so i hope you enjoyed this episode of saturday morning makes while you're looking at these sweet little doll images, I just want to do a couple shout outs. Uh, my friend Britton, who is Gingham and Yarn, she um, did a crochet lamb and posted it for Saturday Morning Makes. Um, and I think she used a pattern from Twink, I think it's, is it Twinkie Chan, I think. Um, so check out Twinkie Chan for the pattern if you're interested. And she has the information on her Instagram page, Gingham and Yarn. And Britton is one of my um, teammates for the Diana Markham, um, Diana Markham's Recipe Stamp Club. She's one of the stamp ambassadors. Um, and there's so many wonderful stamp ambassadors. I hope you'll check them all out. Wendy and uh, Sarah and, um, oh, I, I can never even remember everybody. But you you know Marilyn and uh, Strawberry Cream 39, which is Jen and D Who's Elegant Embellishments. So be sure you're hopping around. My friend Arangetta on Instagram, Cynthia. So be sure you're hopping around and looking at everybody. Um, there's one other person I can't think of right now. I'm forgetting maybe one or two people. One of it starts with a P, but I can't think of it right now. It drives me nuts that I can't remember everything. 
and my little, um, my cheat sheet isn't here, so I can't tell you. Um, but uh, I also saw a really cute M um, MFT uh, carrot card from Kathy and the Skywalker. And uh, she is, um, it's Kathy underscore Envy Skywalker on Instagram. And uh, she's she is a Saturday morning maker, and you will enjoy her projects, so be sure and check her out. This is what her name is on Instagram. And Britain is Gingham and Yarn. And then Robin Warren, uh, she did a really cute, um, she used a really cute bear, a woodware stamp with a bear. And uh, I saw her project this morning. Uh, or this afternoon, actually, uh, I Scrap Memories, which is Scrap and Tea, she did a gorgeous butterfly card for Two Crafters, One Design, and also for Crafty Dares. Those of you that follow Crafty Dares, um, Tina of Tell Him Thank You has been running Crafty Dares on Instagram for years and years. Uh, you could contact her if it's something you might be interested in doing. They post on Fridays. I did it for several years, but this year I had to back down just because I have so much going on in my family. But uh, be sure and check out I Scrap Memories on Instagram. And it's Scrap and Tea. So hello to Scrap and Tea. Um, and then Lisa Adavasio, I saw her. She was using the bee, the new bee gnomes from my creative time. And she did a wonderful post. So thank you, Lisa, for that. Um, Adelaide Vavotny, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she used Anna White's heart dies and made a beautiful tag and a card. And she used some beautiful stamps from Impression Obsession. Um, one of them is one that I have in my stash, a chick with a tulip, a little chick, and it's holding a tulip. Um, and I have that stamp out to use it for spring. And uh, here we are, it's going to be Easter tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the the spring season goes by so fast. So um I'm hoping to get started on more projects for spring anyway cuz um it's don't put your bunnies and everything away. It's still spring. <laughs> so um I I haven't gotten over to YouTube to see any videos yet, but I will and uh I just wanted to to pay some homage to the people that post on Instagram this time and uh I will be sure to go check everything out over on our Facebook page um which is Saturday Morning Makes and Today's Make Two over on Facebook. Um, my sweet friend Jana, who is Jana Stamps on YouTube, um, she does a lot of the, the facilitating of that, really most of it, you guys. Let's be honest, I don't have time right now. And thank goodness for Jana. Jana, we love you. Um, so be sure to go over to, and check out the Facebook page. If you're a Facebook user, you can find lots of the Open Art Collaboration posties on that Facebook group page. So thank you to Jana and to everybody that posts there. And um, I guess I'll just say hello to all my friends out there. Happy Easter to everybody. My sweet friend Kat just sent me a package. I just got it off the porch right before I came to film this. So I'm going to be filming some happy mail in the next couple days, maybe after Easter. And um, I'm just so grateful to everybody that um, participates in Saturday Morning Makes, in Two Crafters, One Design, in MFT Madness, in any of the hashtags that are out there. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people doing Christmas hashtags for Christmas all through the years. Um, so I do Christmas Makes 2024 this year. Um, but there are lots of Christmas hashtags that you can join in um, that have different, uh, you know, ideas and inspiration for creating Christmas projects all year long so that when December rolls around, you have a whole stash of projects to enjoy. So I thank you for joining me for my video. I want to thank Sam Poole for designing such sweet prim products, which is my favorite style of crafting is homespun um, kind of prim. And uh, just very simple. And uh, I loved what she did with this sweet little rag doll. Um, and uh, it's just adorable. And I had so much fun creating cards with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my projects. And uh, I had fun making this wonderful My Creative Time uh, Mother's Day card using the Jingle All the Way spatula, as well as the uh, rolling pin and the um, spoon too in my project and the mason jars. So this just turned out so cute and this will be going out to my mom and uh, uh, my friend is going to get this adorable peachy keen you're my lifesaver card. <coughs> oh I need a drink of water. Um, anyway uh, I do have a code for my creative time which is Jill. You can use my code Jill for 10% off every day at my creative time and then at peachy keen my code is Jill10 and if you use those code, codes, you'll get a 10% discount 
every day. Now, if there's a sale going on that, that gives you a deeper discount or something, uh, sometimes the code will work and sometimes it won't. So pay attention to what's going on in the individual stores. But I like to call them everyday coupons in that whenever there isn't a release or some type of flash sale going on, the codes are good. So um, again, at Peachy Keen, it's Jill 10. At My Creative Time, it's just Jill. All right. So use those if you would like to purchase anything. Again, I want to thank um, everybody for tuning in. And uh, I just am in love with these little dolls. And I can't wait to add um, wings to them and make them into angel rag dolls too. So uh, thank you guys for taking a look at my projects today. Everybody, happy Easter. I send my love out to any of you that are that are caring for elderly, that are caring for your parents, that are sick yourselves, that have a chronic illness or needing surgeries, so many different things going on. I just send my best wishes to you all. My heart and prayers are with you as you try to recover or to care for those that are suffering. So everybody have a wonderful Easter. Happy Easter, Brian, Kat, Sue, Susan, Patty, um, Robin, uh, Lily, everybody that leaves me such beautiful comments, Lorraine, uh, Rhonda, uh, Lisey, uh, Elise over in Georgia, um, all of my friends out there, the ones that I'm naming, the ones that I'm not, all of you that follow and play along, um, Melissa, Mo Creations, Gloria, uh, Lisa, I could just keep going and going, Gail, Audrey, uh, so many of you. I'm so appreciative of every single one of you um, and all the men out there too that follow along, um, all the little kids. I know that there are grandchildren that watch. I know Patty's grandson likes to watch. So I just say hello to all of you to Ro and her mom, Carmen, and everyone in their family, uh, just each and every one of you. I hope you have a happy Easter and uh, just enjoy this beautiful springtime uh, season, okay? All right, everybody, bye now. Thanks for joining. Thanks for uh, watching, commenting, and please give me a thumbs up if you can. It helps me. All right, bye-bye.